Now we are going to see divisions of fraction. So we have to follow some rules of division and fraction. What are the rules we are going to see? So first one, step one, whole number as a fraction. So you have to convert the whole number. Step one, you have to convert the whole number as a fraction. That is step one. Second one is find the reciprocal of the divisor. So we have to find the divisor. They have given the divisor already in the sum. So you have to find which is the divisor. Then after that you have to reciprocate the divisor. That is called the second step. Third step. Step 3. Multiply the dividend and the reciprocal of the divisor. Multiply the dividend and the reciprocal of the divisor. So you have to multiply the dividend dividend and the reciprocal of the divisor so first you will find out the divisor after that you have to uh, what make it as or convert as a uh, what um, mul multiplicative inverse or reciprocal of the divisor after that you have to so step three you have to multiply dividend and the reciprocal of the divisor then fourth step final answer you will get it you have to make the uh, answer or you have to make the result as a lowest term as much as possible you have to make it as a lowest term so i'll repeat the four steps again so it's a rule of the divisions of fraction so don't forget the rules and rules and regulation otherwise definitely you will do a lot of mistakes in division of fraction first one whole number yeah they have given the whole number so you have to convert the whole number as a fraction step one step two you have to find the divisor then you have to make it as a what reciprocal of the divisor third step multiply the dividend and the reciprocal of the divisor and fourth step you will get the answer the final answer will become as a lowest term will we'll make it as a lowest term as much as possible so the uh, i'm going to solve the sums divide six by seven divided by three Say I have told you 6 by 7 is in 6 by 7 is a what? Fraction is divided by 3. 3 is a whole number. If I solve the sum, you will understand the rules very clearly in the sum. First question: 6 by 7 is a fraction divided by 3. So 6 by 7 is what? It's a fraction. 3 is a whole number. So I have already told you 6 by 7, you write as it is. Then divided by 3. Divided by what? divided by 3 so 3 is a whole number you have to convert the whole number as a fraction so 3 divided by 1 so if you don't have denominator i've told you you have to consider 1 as a denominator so 3 divided by 1 the next step what you're going to do so this is a dividend and this is a divisor so find the divisor and make it as a what reciprocal of the divisor 3 by 1 means 1 by 3 that is upside down 1 by 3 so now you are going to multiply the what dividend and the reciprocal of the divisor multiply this so 6 into 1 7 into 3 now i'm going to cross the number so 3 twos are 6 the so 2 into 1 2 divided by 7 this is the answer for the question but they said what you have to um, whatever the answer you get you have to make it as a lowest term so this is the answer for the question that is 2 by 7 you can't make this term as a lowest term because why means 2 is a what even number and 7 is a odd number here after you can't take any what common divisor you can't yeah, you can't take any common divisor for these fractions so for this fraction so the answer is 2 by 7 so you can't make this term as a lowest term you can't make this term as a simplified term here after you can't simplify the sum so this is the right answer for the question okay so because you can't get the common divisor for the both numerator as well as the denominator so the answer is 2 by 7 is the right answer for this question i think so i've told you already first is a fraction i'll repeat the sum again 6 by 7 divided by 3 6 by 7 is a fraction and 3 is a whole number that you know i think so that's clear for you next one 6 by 7 is a fraction divided by 3 3 means it is a whole number so first step you have to what convert the whole number as a what fraction so convert the whole number as a fraction 3 is a whole number so you can't uh, directly divide the number so what you're going to do 3 means you have to divide it by 1 you don't have denominator so you have to consider 1 as a denominator so 3 divided by 1 now it becomes a fraction so first step is over next 6 by 7 this is a dividend and reciprocal of the 3 is 1 by 3 3 by 1 is a divisor 3 by 1 is a divisor you have to make the divisor as a reciprocal of the divisor so 3 by 1 upside down means what you will get 1 by 3 that is a reciprocal this is a dividend and this is a what divisor reciprocal of the divisor now you have 
to multiply both that is step 3 so 6 into 1 divided by 7 into 3 I just cross uh, by 3 across 3 and 6 so 3 2s are 6 so here 3 3s are 3 divided by 1 you can get a uh, 3 divided by 3 you can get 1 6 divided by 3 you can get 2 so 2 into 1 you can get 2 7 into 1 you can get 7 so 2 by 7 is the answer but finally you have to make this term as a lowest term but here you can't make it as a lowest term this is a very lowest number so the lowest fraction so 2 by 7 is the perfect answer for this question second so sum 3 by 8 divided by 8 is so 3 by 8 is a fraction next I have to make the whole number as a what fraction so 8 by 1 consider 1 as a denominator because there is no denominator if if, if, they, if they didn't give the denominator you have to uh, assume as assume 1 as a denominator so 8 divided by 1 so 3 by 8 and after that this is the dividend and this is a divisor you will find out what find the what divisor as a reciprocal of the divisor so you have to write 8 by me 8 by 1 means 1 by 8 it's a reciprocal so after that what you're going to do you have to multiply the dividend and the what multi you have to multiply the dividend and the reciprocal of the divisor so 3 into 1 you can get 3 so here 8 into 8 you can get what 64 3 by 64 this is the right answer so here also um, 64 you can't So this is uh, what odd number and this is the even number so you can't make this term as a uh, lowest term because you can't simplify here after the answer is 3 by 64. So 3 by 8 divided by 8 this is a fraction this is a whole number so I convert the what whole number as a fraction so 8 divided by 1 it becomes as a fraction because they don't give the they didn't give the what denominator so I assume 1 as a denominator 8 by 1 so 3 by 8 so that was a what dividend and 8 by 1 you have to reciprocal it you have to uh, what you have to make the divisor as a what reciprocal divisor uh, that is 1 by 8 that is 8 by 1 means upside down if you do what means multiply if you multiply means 1 by 8 will come so 3 into 1 and 8 into 8 3 into 1 you can get 3 and 8 into 8 you can get 64 so the answer is 3 by 64. Next third sum, what is 3 by 7 divided by 21. So this is a fraction and this is a whole number. So 3 by 7 divided by, so 21 is a whole number. After that it will become as a fraction divided by 1 because there is no denominator. I will consider 1 as a denominator. So 3 by 7 into what? 1 by 21 that is a reciprocal of the divisor. This is the dividend and this is the divisor. The next step I have to multiply 3 into 1 divided by 7 into 21. So I cross the number 3 divided by 3 you can get 1. 21 is divided by 3 you can get what? 7. The answer is 1 into 1, 1. 7 into 7 you can get 49. So 1 divided by 49 is the right answer for the question. Hereafter you can't what? Simplify the term. So answer is 1 by 49. Next sum, fourth sum that is 4 by 5 divided by 10 so it's a fraction is a whole number so 4 by 5 as it is I will write next divided by 10 become as a, a it is a whole number so it becomes as a fraction so 10 divided by 1 now it becomes a fraction so 4 by 5 into reciprocate the number 1 by 10 so after that I have to multiply this is a dividend this is the reciprocal of the divisor so, so multiply the number 4 into 1 4 5 4 into 1 after that 5 into 10 so I have to cancel the number if I take uh, if I divide by 2 2 2 is a 4 if I divide by 2 I will get 5 so what is the answer 2 into 1 2 5 into 5 I will get what 25 so answer is 2 by 25 is the answer so hereafter you can't what simplify this term so answer is 2 by 25 so even you can do like this 4 by 5 into 1 by 10 directly if I consider 2 means if I divide by 2 you can get 2 here also divided by 2 you can get 5 so 1 into 2 
to 5 5 is a 25 this also right the same but only thing i have uh, or combined together everything here i just simply cross this up 